you know, it was like I, early two Car so quiet, they probably, they could probably sneak up on them. I had a bunch of friends who were Red Sox fans, and I was a little for them tiny one. And then after they won, I was happy. And then the next season, the fans were like the same assholes. It was like they were like a guy from Memento who doesn't know he killed the dude, and he's just like, I gotta kill this guy. And it's like, you killed him. Uh, you already won, and they didn't they didn't bring them that much. Here's mama. But I don't want to be that kind of fan. Yeah. I want to just always be happy. Pretty young. My team. Yeah, I think that's what I'm. I, 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 I've struggled to have that. I realize it's like, am I a fair weather fan? Driveways are a pain and also very expensive. You got uh, three loads of crushed concrete brought in, fourth one on its way. I brought, scooped some up and put it here where this is kind of like falling off just to build it up a little bit. And the driveway is really on this side. But with it all overgrown, people tend to kind of come over here and it really falls off. So water is really high, so it's probably just eroding. Uh, so you can see it's dried out now, but this is where we kind of started with the first load. Had a little incident with my skid steer when I was kind of finishing up spreading the last load. Got a low spot here I need to fill in. He's bringing the last load, I'm gonna drop it by the house, and I'll just take scoops and fill in some of these areas from it. I uh, didn't realize how far off I was going. This wheeled skid steer kind of sucks for driveways. Um, but my tracked skid steer that I own with somebody else was being used. So probably not being used, but it's just a pain to kind of transport it. So I usually just try to use this one. Uh, second load is about there. There's a really low spot like right in here that's probably gonna this is gonna end up settling so i'll bring some more material here we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow and the next day so we'll see how it fares and then there's another big hole look at the military helicopters over otter lake they go by almost every single day must be some flight path uh and then this is a low area i actually dug this out with the skid steer one day just to try to get the water off the driveway so i'm sure this will settle a bit deer tracks all over so i'll probably have to fill this in but I got my charger hooked up for my tesla now so i want to have i don't want to have to go like one mile per hour down the driveway so filling that in and then i'll come down with the a bucket load of stone and use a shovel just to fill in these potholes see how that holds up the rest of this is pretty good because the driveway tapers down this way so no water really ever sits on that part it's just down here i really need really need some ditching on the sides or a bridge um but it's a half mile long it's gonna be a maintenance nightmare for years to come which is probably why actually it's several people have told me that's why they didn't buy this property it was just how much work the driveway needed up front i probably had probably had 20 grand plus in materials just to build this up to where it is today so what's another 1600 for you know today's load getting my steps in today so my, the guy that's bringing the last load, he's gonna, he said if I had a chain, he'd pull me out. So I didn't try too hard to get out, didn't want to bury it even more. Um, I know better, I've buried this thing before on this driveway, but usually it's on this side. Didn't think this side would be too bad. But I just can, couldn't get any traction because it's so soft here. And those ones are just spinning. So I'm sure he'll pull me right out.
Looks <clears throat> a little better. Still got some holes, but it's really soft over there from the mud. 